Tallahassee, the capital of Florida, and normally a wash in garnet and gold. We're almost set for football at Dope Campbell Stadium. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. lined up to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he'll take it from the two tackle made at the 31 so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today Slings it. Tackle made at about the 45. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the 45. Wants to throw outside. Has it to the senior. It's a fumble. He picks it up. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They put everyone up on the line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown to result. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Try running left. Nice run to the left there. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 33. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. The corner was coming hard off the edge with a full head of steam. He got there just a little bit too late. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's a game of two the That makes it second and eight. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 37. quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. 
The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Hope is waiting for the snap. Cleveland fields it at the 26, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Florida State is up a score. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Rose incomplete. They got a hand on it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Steps out of bounds around the 40-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He throws left. Found his man. They'll bring him down at the three. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Second down and goal. Ball on the six. Florida State is up seven. Laterals back. Touchdown, Florida State. It's a great call here inside the five-yard line. The defense took away the quarterback, a great read, and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So an eight-play, 66-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score... 14-0. Taken from the three-yard line. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. The Seminoles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage the team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. And now he pitches it. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Oh, 
hope to punt. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. The Seminoles are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. Well, it's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and taking advantage of the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, start. Offense. offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. First and 15 now after the penalty. Caught out of the open. And he shoved out of bounds at the 46-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He makes his way to about the 38. run and he's brought down and he hits him hard at the 22 yard line run up the middle that makes it six and six. and he's tackled right away it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here the middle for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That brings him second and goal. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes his third and goal. Scrambling around, and he can't get away from the pressure. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it puts the uprights. Jones is lined up to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Florida State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. First down. 
Throws, falling back, and finds his man. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. Things start to get out of hand here as we head to the second quarter. 17 to nothing, Seminole. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Quick throw. He steps out around the 47-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Short over the middle. He's hit and taken down. That'll make it second and four. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a game of six yards. First down. They'll give it off here. Loss of two by the halfback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete pass. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Here's a quick throw. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. That is a loss of seven. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Makes it to the 24. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Williams, the return man. Williams takes it at the 43, brought down at the 47-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. level at the 30. He likes the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. 
Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Gain of five yards. That makes it third and seven. Five wide. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. and they'll turn it over on downs. And they'll fail on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick pass. And he's taken down. That's the 29. That's a game. Second and five. They come out in a five wide set. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of one yard. Third down. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack, and the defense gets to him again. Wow, this defense is playing. That's a great three and out. Tough to get anything going against this kind of pressure. Gore is the punter. at the 40-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's out of bounds at midfield. That brings up second and one. And they got him for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Excellent open field tackle. Number 20 with the tackle at the 50 yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game, and I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got a receiver and he dropped it. From the 36 yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 26 yard line. Gay makes the tackle at the 26 yard line. First down. Check girls, check girls, check girls. There's a little draw play, and he's tackled around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's second down.
completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. down in the open field. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Kicks away, and he's got it. Dunbar has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Seminoles look almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going a little. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 36. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Heading for the corner. Slides down to the ground. Tilly gets six yards after taking it himself. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in an empty backfield. Tackle at the 45. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down at the 33-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Slings it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. And they got it. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. He scrambled. And he is drilled at the four-yard line. The Seminoles using their third and last timeout. It's the ninth play of the drive. The kick is up, and he got it. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 20 to 3, FSU. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, 
you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. McCormick fields it at the one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He has some room. And down he goes around the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Good open field tackle. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Five wide. He goes downtown. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He makes the PAT. LSU to kick. It's fielded at the two. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Boy, aren't they? They're so full of energy. It's almost scary. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Three down, three down. Mark six, 33, 33. Ready? Once it all, going deep. Incomplete, almost picked off. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Scrambling around. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Throws a strike over the middle. He's taken down at the 47. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle made at about the 45. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run. They bring him down. 
He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the 40. He's got his man across the middle. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From the 27-yard line, second down. Keys on the handoff. And he hits him hard at the 15. Up the middle for a nice game. It's the tailback, and he tackles him hard at the eight-yard line. Touchdown, Seminole! And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Florida State ready to kick this one off. McCormick from the two. And he's tackled at the 28. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 31-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Nunez was the intended target on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Is waiting for the snap. <laughs> Cleveland fields it at the 35, and down he goes at the 44. And for Sharp, he certainly made an impact. Well, Brad, he really has. And he's doing a good job of taking advantage of getting lower than the offensive lineman. So he's got the leverage, and he's just driving those offensive linemen back into the backfield to disrupt the timing for this offense. I'm going to slide my offensive line and my protection towards him to be able to try to take him away and do anything to try to mix up my looks for him. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. He's gonna try and scramble. 
Hetzel an open field tackle. Scrambling, and he's leveled to the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. complete he's tackled at about the 39 yard line and they pick up two yards this was just a little dump off pass to the halfback but it was very well defended keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield so it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field throws it to the outside and there's a missed opportunity by the offense The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fine. Big hit there to stop him. Just throws this one away. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Swatted away. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job of the defense. Hope is the punter. Cleveland takes it at the 23, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Quick throw, and he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 49. No game. That brings up fourth and three. Gore awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll get him for a loss. One more quarter to play. 27 to 10, FSU. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Here's a quick throw. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. All on the 33. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. He fires. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, LSU! And he tacks on the extra point. LSU is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Lost of two on the play. They line up at the 14. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll make it one point. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. Two-yard line. Not sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Second down and 12. Ball on the 44. He 
He heaves it deep. It's complete. Touchdown, Tigers! Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. Dunbar gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Florida State has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Taken down around the 24 yard line. He's knocked out of bounds around the 29 yard line. Running the option on third down is perhaps a risky call, but the defense didn't look totally prepared for it, and they gave up the first down yardage. Scrambling around. And they push him out right around the 38-yard line. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. made at the 48. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's on the run. Here's the eighth play of the series. Florida State is up by three. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Johnson picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Here's the 11th play of the drive. LSU's going to use their first time out of the half here. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 29.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Keys, the ball carrier, gets out to around the 18. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense, and at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out of the field. And now he pitches it. Tackled after a decent pickup. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Here he goes. Up the middle for a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. No game. That brings him second and goal. This is the 16th play of this drive. He makes it to the six-yard line. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 27-24, Seminole. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.